Vice President Pence is touring the country promoting the president's agenda, focusing on the big tax cuts. And the numbers he's touting certainly sound good. Here's the vice president this weekend in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Since the president signed our tax cut into law, got a little bit of good news that came along is that more than 6 million Americans have already received bonuses or pay raises or bigger benefits, even before all the tax cuts have gone into effect. I was told coming in today, 56,000 workers across Tennessee have already received a pay raise or a bonus following the president's tax cuts. Six million Americans and 56,000 in Tennessee with a pay raise or a bonus thanks to the tax law. That sounds very good. But let's give you the total numbers. Six million of the total U.S. labor force of 161 million people is just 3.7 percent who saw any kind of increase in pay or a bonus. And as for the 56,000 in Tennessee, that is less than 2 percent of the state's workforce seeing more money in their paychecks. In fact, overall wages are down. People are working longer hours for less money. Inflation is rapidly on the rise. And the average consumer is bracing for an increase in their groceries thanks to the president's brewing trade war. If there ever was a time that the U.S. workers needed a pay raise, it's now. Joining me now is the chair of the Council of Economic Advisors, Kevin Hassett. Kevin, 50% of Americans, and I'm not talking just Republicans, I mean all Americans, feel good about the way the president is handling the economy. The economy mm -hmm. is a winning argument for this administration. Why would the administration wage a trade war and risk losing it? Well, I think that what we're in is a trade negotiation or a trade reform. You know, I think that, in fact, the president has probably more support amongst Democrats than Republicans in the view that the trade deals need to be renegotiated to be better for American workers. And he's working hard to do that. We've got a bunch of Europeans coming here uh, this week. And so I think that, in the end, what's going to happen is that other countries that have big barriers to our exports are going to lower them because the president's going to negotiate better deals. But you're right that at this time, right now, what you're seeing mostly is uncertainty, and that uncertainty is a little bit rattling for markets and something to keep an eye on as we watch the economic data roll in. Finally, the last thing I wanted to do is come back a little bit at you on the wages, because I think the best measure of wages is the Employment Cost Index, the ECI. And over the last three months, they, that's increased at an average uh, rate, which, you know, if you extrapolate it for the rest of the year, would be 4% wage growth, which is really impressive. And so I think that, you know, the anecdote that the vice president gave is starting to be seen in the data as well. But there you're including supervisory roles. We're not arguing yeah. that executives executives, they're making bank. I'm talking about low-wage workers, and if you look at the BL... Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.